Years ago, I made a video about the best and worst Mario Kart items, and since then, a new Mario Kart game has come out, and my opinions have changed quite a bit, so it's time to rank them all with one of the masters, TWD98. Hey guys, it's Troy here. As for some guidelines, we won't be counting items from the Mario Kart Arcade titles, and the same for enemy exclusive items. So fireballs and poison mushrooms and Super Mario Kart won't count since we can't use them. And with that, let's get her ranked. 35, Lightning Cloud. We're starting with what's essentially an anti-item. That's right, you get a bit of a speed boost around corners for the first 10 seconds, and if you don't pass the lightning to someone else, you'll shrink down losing all your speed equivalent to a lightning shock. Now you'll actually add a second to the cloud when you pass it off to someone, giving them more speed, which can lead to this hot potato exchange, but in the end, someone's gonna get zapped. It's the only item in any of the Mario Kart games that sends the racer into a straight panic. 34, coin. There's nothing inherently wrong with coins. In fact, they make your cart go faster in the games they're featured in, which is great. Getting them as an item, however, is a complete waste. Instead of an item you can use to defend yourself or attack another player, you just add a teeny bit of speed to your cart, which you won't really notice. 33, blooper. Why this item keeps coming back in Mario Kart, I'll never understand. What happens is a blooper flies up to every player in front of the one that used it, and you get some ink on your screen. Now sure, this slows down computer players, and in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, your card is a bit more slippery, but overall, you can still see where you're going, and it's hardly a hindrance at all. 32, fake item box, also referred to as the fib. This is an interesting one because it looks so different in each game. Mario Kart 64's boxes look exactly the same as the regular boxes, but double dashes are completely different in color. Since you can't camouflage the box with every game, that kind of defeats the purpose on top of the fact that they can't block items. Its only benefit over the banana is how large of a hitbox it has for trapping your opponent on blind corners. 31. Super Leaf not only does this look incredibly stupid on the cart, but it's really not that useful. Now, sure, you can block shells with it and hit players from behind, but you have the time you're pressed to do that, and while you have this item, you can't pick up any others. 30. Banana. Here's where you may disagree with this list. The classic banana is simply a mediocre item in comparison to the others. The way that bananas affect you really depends on the game, since some of them slow you down a lot, and others not so much. They're useful for defending yourself, of course, but really there's so many better options for defense. 29. Green Shell. This is pretty similar to a banana, but with one main perk. Instead of just dropping a banana or throwing it through the air, this shell can be used for defense and it's much easier to snipe a player. It's extremely satisfying to hit someone with the green shell because it follows a straight path as opposed to the red shell which locks in. 28. Triple Banana Slash Banana Bunch It's three times the power, or five if you're playing Mario Kart 64. There's not much to add here, but having more options to place bananas on the track is always a good thing and you can get them in first place. 27. Giant Banana You know what they say, bigger is always better, at least when it comes to bananas in Mario Kart. Slap one of these babies on a narrow pathway and your opponents aren't standing a chance at getting around this. The spin out time is also much longer than just a regular banana, which makes it all the merrier. 26. Triple Green Shells The name speaks for itself, you obviously know what these are all about. Having three green shells is nice, since it somewhat serves as a shield unless you're playing Double Dash. It can block items in front of you, as well as be used for sniping. So if you miss the snipe from forward or behind, you can try again once or twice more. 25. Piranha Plant Hey, what's the Smash Bros character doing in my item roulette? But seriously, this is by far one of the strangest items in Mario Kart. A potted plant that gives you tiny speed boost every time he snaps at the air, eats a coin, or even an opponent. This is one of those items that's not that bad, but it's also just something that doesn't really need to exist. 24. Bowser Shell This is by far one of the most fun items to use. You hurl a giant freaking shell of death and clobber anyone in its path. This is pretty infamous for its use in Baby Park too, since that stage is so tiny and they bounce around all over the place. But with that said, the shell can also hurt you if you aren't careful. 23. Fireballs I'm kind of shocked we didn't get fireballs as an item until the fourth Mario Kart game. But anyway, Mario or Luigi throws them and they spread out like wildfire. The longer the fire goes, the more it spreads out. It's great for hitting players that are in front of you, but not so much for faraway targets as the fire sizzles up kind of quickly. 22. Fire Flower These replace the fireballs in the newer games. Instead of the spray effect, you fire off one shot at a time similar to a green shell. The fireballs are pretty tiny, making them a tad hard to hit with, but you can easily spam this and hit players that way. Plus, if you don't want this item for whatever reason, you aren't stuck with it for very long, unlike the Super Leaf. 
21, Boomerang Flower. We were really conflicted on where to place this one, so let's get into it. You basically get three throws, with the last one going far out into the distance. You can nail multiple opponents at once, and it can be used as defense if thrown backwards. The main issue is actually hitting someone, as they're on the slow side, plus you have to wait a while to try to use it again if you miss your target. 20, Red Shell. So here's the thing. The Red Shells are dramatically different in the games they're featured in. They're pretty crappy in the older Mario Kart titles, but quite useful in the newer ones. That's because the homing technology took a while to really come to good use. It's common to use a Red Shell in Mario Kart 64 and watch it hit a wall when a player is two feet in front of you, but with Mario Kart 8, 7, and DS, they actually travel quite a ways to hit a player. And of course, they can also be held from behind for defense, which is obviously a plus. 19. Yoshi slash Birdo Egg These are basically red shells, but so much better in every way. For one, the AI is a lot smarter and they're very likely to actually hit the player even from a distance. And when it does hit a player, the egg explodes and releases three random items on the field, which could lead you to getting a free mushroom or even a star. Now of course a bob -um could spawn and ruin your day, but overall these are a huge improvement to the red shells. 18. Spiny Slash Blue Shell Here's another item that's extremely hard to categorize because of how much they've changed per game. The spiny shells of course go for the player in first place to help balance out each race, but they aren't always the most useful unless the shell stays on the ground. So say if you're in 8th place and get the shell, you want to be playing a Mario Kart where it stays low to the ground instead of just in the air so it has the potential to hit other players. 17. POW Block This is one of the most strategic items in Mario Kart Wii. The POW Block shows up on your screen, shrinks down like in the Mario Bros games, and its final strike forces every player in front of you to spin out and drop their item. That is, unless you know to shake the controller to prevent yourself from spinning out, which requires precise timing. 16. Super Horn You may be surprised that this isn't near the top 10 because it's an item that's designed to destroy the blue shell. And if you're more of a casual player, you'd probably rank it up higher too for that reason alone. And sure, the blast also creates a pulsing effect that can shake up players next to you, but it really doesn't slow them down that much. Plus, it's a one-time use, and if you want to dodge, say, an incoming red shell, you must activate the Super Horn at the correct moment or it's not gonna work. 15. Heart I really don't get how this item hasn't been in more Mario Kart titles, because it's such a simple yet clever idea. Your cart is surrounded by two hearts, and any item you run into on the road will become yours, even if it's a special item you can't normally use. This is basically like a reflective shield. You run into an item, and then you use it for your own advantage. It doesn't get more rad than that. 14. Chain Chomp This is by far the most exhilarating and fun item used in Mario Kart, there's no debating that. I mean come on, you release an enormous Chain Chomp that pulls you through a level destroying any players in your path all while it barks like a complete maniac. But it's not perfect as this guy is a bit reckless. It's not uncommon that he'll throw you off the track and you can't do anything about it. And if you run into an item, he straight up abandons you on the road, which again, you have zero control over. 13. bob -um. Here we have quite the explosive item. Throw a bob -omb and it'll go big boom on your foes. That is, assuming you hit them. Otherwise, it may just sit there and not go off for a few seconds. Hitting players from behind right after passing them is definitely the most useful way to use this. It's basically like hitting them with a spiny shell as they'll get thrown high into the air. 12. Mushroom you get a nice little speed boost. It's about as basic as an item can get. Being basic can go a long way, as even one mushroom can lead you to taking some cool shortcuts or skipping large portions of the stage depending on what you're playing on. 11. Boo. Here's another item that can really change in quality depending on the game you're playing. Its main goal is to find a player and steal an item from someone else. This can go both ways. You either really get something cool or you get nothing at all. But when you're invincible with the boo, you're invulnerable to getting hit by shells and you can even go off-road in Mario Kart DS without losing speed. 10. Triple Red Shells Now we're getting into the real bangers. When you get triple red shells, you get this feeling that you're set for life and have no worries in the world. It's three red shells that you can use for defense or to easily jump in placement as you can chain them from one player to the next. 9. Mega Mushroom it's really bizarre that this item exists just because it's so similar to the other items in this game. With the Mega Mushroom, you'll grow in size, speed up a bit, can go off-road without losing speed, and you're invincible from lightning and shells. The power-up doesn't last quite as long as stars though, hence why it's a touch lower in this high tier. 8. 
triple mushrooms. The more mushrooms you got, the merrier. Now don't take that too seriously. Anyway, having three mushrooms is incredibly vital for tons of tracks when it comes to using shortcuts. And since you can save the mushrooms, that makes it a little bit better than the mega mushroom since you can utilize them more effectively. Seven, lucky seven. You really do have to be lucky to get this. You get a barrage of seven items that circle around you that you can use as defense or to attack players. This is one of the best items of all time, but your odds of getting it are slim to none. Not only is it rare, but you have to be in a middle placement during races to even have a chance, so best of luck. Six, crazy eight. There is not much else to add, except you have eight items circling you instead of seven, which adds the blooper. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. 5. Feather We've decided to not include Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's version of the feather because that's only used in battle mode, but in Super Mario Kart, it really raises your wings. You want to talk about a broken item, this is it right here. You can literally jump over huge sections of a course creating shortcuts which would usually be impossible. The only downside is if you don't know the tracks, you can't benefit much from the item. 4. Golden Mushroom Originally named the Super Mushroom in Mario Kart 64, but renamed in the later titles because let's be honest, Gold Mushroom sounds so much better. It's a mushroom inside a million mushrooms. You can go as fast as you please for a limited amount of time, and it's purely fantastic. Really, the only negative is you can't avoid things like shells or lightning with it, but even so, you're at a huge advantage with this in your arms. 3. Stars An item featured in every single Mario Kart game. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Any item that's gonna make you invincible has to be near the top. And plus, you go a little bit faster, can bash through other racers, and get a nice catchy jingle that makes you feel like such a special guy. 2. Bullet Bill This is what you get if the star in Chain Chomp made a baby. The Bullet Bill does not play around. Use this and you'll get charged forward at insane speeds, all while being invincible and knocking players out of your path. And in some games like Mario Kart Wii or Deluxe, it's beyond OP. Like here, this trick on DK Summit puts you near a death pit, but the Bullet Bill is so good that it saves you from dying and you get a huge boost out of it, cutting a portion of the track. Or this trick in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where you skip this huge chunk in Delfino Airport. I mean, just look at this. And number one, Lightning Slash Thunderbolt. Remember how the Lightning Cloud was the worst item on this list? Well, with this, you are the Lightning Cloud. You've probably noticed throughout the video, we've talked about most items having a disadvantage at not being able to defend themselves against this particular item. Using this shocks every player and shrinks them down, decreasing their speed. This is especially vicious in games like Mario Kart 64, where you can squish a tiny player, slowing them down even more. And in the newer games, the players in the front of the pack are shrunken down for an extremely long period of time. This is why you may hear people scream at the top of their lungs BAM! Shock dodge! when they evade the shock. If you enjoyed this, then you'll surely get a kick out of TWD98's ranked video on every vehicle in Mario Kart Wii. So go BAM shock dodge your way there or I'll take all your V-Bucks. I'm serious. But with that, thanks a bunch for watching guys and I hope you have a wonderful day.